So, hello everyone. Uh, in this demo, I will show you uh, that we are recommending Intel TensorFlow instead of TensorFlow. So, if you take a look at, probably zoom. Uh, if you take a look at our uh, requirements file, or first I will uh, show you how we can uh, uh, recommend Intel TensorFlow and also recommend uh, deployment changes. So here you can see that we are uh, using Intel TensorFlow. And what I will do, I will call Tamos Advice. And in this case, the server-side resolution uh, will recommend us uh, using specific version of uh, Intel TensorFlow. So here you can see uh, application stack guidance and all the packages that were uh, removed based on uh, build time uh, failures or uh, during installation issues. And here you can see also uh, recommendations when it comes to uh, software that is uh, recommended. So uh, here you can see different uh, aspects of MKL uh, libs that link to our, our page. And uh, if you take a look at a report that is produced by our recommendation engine, that will be found under this key. So here you can uh, obtain it. Uh, on the API endpoint. <coughs> uh, we will see that the recommendation engine recommends also uh, changes that are needed to uh, manifest manifests uh, that are used to deploy an application. So in this case, uh, the recommendation engine is recommending to uh, adjust or add new environment variable that is called OMP number threads and set uh, its value to 1 in deployment config. Uh, this is done by a pipeline unit uh, that was implemented. And uh, if you go to our uh, TOT Station Ninja page and you go to TOT Advisor documentation, and you search for manifest changes, advised manifest changes, you can see how uh, you can implement uh, advices on, on manifest changes. So here in this example, you have uh, these OMP number threads environment variable, as we've seen uh, before. And uh, in this case, that's a pipeline unit of type uh, rep. And uh, this corresponds to RFC 6902. Uh, that is a standard how to uh, patch JSON objects. So if you follow this uh, standard, you can create a new uh, new uh, advices from recommendation engine and patch your manifest uh, files so that they uh, correspond to to what needs to be done uh, on uh, user side in order to run the application uh, correctly. So this demo. Uh, shows how to uh, how we perform changes uh, when uh, deploying an application based on packages uh, that are present. Do you have any questions? No, just a short comment. Uh, changing the manifest is something that an Argo CD pipeline or an Tekton pipeline would do to the GitOps repository, right? So yes. um, advisors just pit just spitting them out. And then we need some kind of controller who's really taking these manifest changes and execute on them. Yes, so it's up okay. to the client to patch manifest changes used. This is uh, advice from, from the recommendation engine. Cool. Okay, thanks. <laughs> 